Welcome back to Baruto. And before I list up what it is, like, Nick, didn't you just, just, just do a video about the newest episode of the anime? Yes, I did. This is special. Not really. It's part of the part of my review series, but this one is a review of the newest chapter in the manga, which I didn't know the new chapter was came out because I keep checking it was every day. Like, when is this come out? And all of a sudden I get emails like, oh, from Viz Media. Oh, the chapter released. Okay. So I read it like, wow. Yeah, I should point out, though, starting the next chapter with chapter 36 is moving over to a new manga called V-Jump. Yep, so starting chapter 36, I'm not really sure of... Those who wonder what that is, it's just under. Um, I'm starting wondering, like, why the heck did that release a chapter last month? I mean, was there a special holiday last month in Japan that basically last week, last week of the month that had required that? As far as I know, it's never been explained of why. So, chapter starts off where last chapter left off. We have Kawanki talking to Karama. He's like, what is this? Who are you? And of course he explains who he is. He spent the next couple pages who he is. They kind of explain a little bit of basically his backstory. And a little bit of basically how he's been with Naruto since he was a freaking baby. They show a flashback of chapter 1 of Naruto. With him moping by himself, which that kind of happened, but this is from this is this is from earlier than that, and basically it's all about Naruto. That's simply put what this the chapter is about. It's like like they they talk for a good period of time. You, you basically, you see the the broken vase they broke basically about ten chapters back, and you see him basically practicing with chakra. He just walks up trees. Like this is something basic. This is something that Kakashi had to teach them. Like, this is where the battle of Zabuza. Yep. And he's like, I had enough basics. Hurry up and teach me, well, sh sh the, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> Are you being serious? I thought I had learned to climb the trees at an incredible point of effort. Easy to use that, too. <laughs> yeah, okay, get the next section. And we see Chocho and Sadara just watching what's going on. And of course, and we see Shikamaru and Sai. Yep, and they're just here, just watching them, like talking about each other, and talking about Kawanki. And then we cut through something very interesting. We see a portal open up, and it's Sasuke, and he's ended up at a very strange place, some underground place. They don't say what this place is. He looks at his surroundings, he's like, "Huh, what's this?" He touches it, and then one of the villains of the Bards of, like, from the Bards of film and the Chunin exam mark shows up. Could is she? And Sasuke's like, uh, this can't be possible. This man's dead. He got eaten by Momoshiki. And he touches something else with his foot. And then Momoshiki shows up. like, what? Momoshiki? And then it's freaking Kaguya. Like, I'm sure he's probably thinking, okay, what's going on? Like, he knows that two of these people are dead, and this woman's sealed. What the heck is going on? And he touches some more stuff, looks, looks around, and then we see a projection of the leader of Kira. And apparently it looks like it's a flashback to something before, where apparently he's, like, he sees something before, and it's the freaking Ten Tails. Like, how the heck is this possible? How is he even here? Ten Tails... Has been split up into ten beats, to like ten different beats. So how bad is here? And of course, they think about Karam basically the mark in his hand, and basically some other comments about the mark in Sakura's head. Now Sakura basically was able to do that via some special training she went through with Tsunade, and they kind of think that this symbol, the that this symbol on her forehead. Let me show it at the panel. Yeah, they think that this symbol is related to Karama. And, of course, it's it's called a particular jutsu. Let me bring up the Viz Media thing, because this basically doesn't give, usually, because this, this site doesn't give the correct, like, how should I put this? Let's see here, if I can find it here. Yeah, it doesn't give, like, the correct um, name jutsu, because even though I use this site to give my review, basically, but... Normally, One Piece gets everything right, but not in the case of Bard, so they give these 
particular names for these particular chapters, like, oh, I think it's, um, like, they usually give them, like, the wrong names. They give them, like, different names, like, translated names. Yeah, I don't really care when I do that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get to the page here, what they said. Yeah, I'm looking up right now on the Vizmia site. Let's see if I can find it here. Once it comes up, of course. Okay. Okay, it's called the Monogenic Regeneration Jutsu. And of course, Naruto points out though that the that Sonati has one on her forehead too. Take a look at the on the Hokage mount. Yep. It's like, huh. Like same shape as Karama. So they figured though then of course well, Mitsuke talks about Rushimaro, the fact that he talks about this particular jutsu. And the fact that the 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 it's basically a form of ninjutsu, but it's not very well known. Probably known people who know medical jutsu. And and he's like, huh? So the fifth Okage, interesting. And of course, Kawaki brings it the junk and basically, or responsible for karma and basically, like he's a bastard and he messed him up, but he knows everything. Like they would must beat him, and of course Bard was like he, like agree with them, crush them together, see more of the ten tail stuff, and then Jagen shows up. Well, the leader of Cure, and it's like, huh, Jimbei, you big a ten tails, big good boy, and it's like, what? Ten tails, ten tails is not around. He does some strange stuff to it somehow, and of course that. Barto and Mitsuke go off to go to visit. Um, yeah, they go to visit. Of all people, they go to visit Sonata to figure out what was the source of that thing. Yeah, and he's and of course, Barto kind of ends the chapter talks about basically Barto. Up. He says, "Well, I'm Sasuke's disciple, Lokage's son, and ninja." Mm-hmm. Yeah, great endings of the chapter. Unlike other, ch like the last chapter and a cliffhanger, this one did it because well, they can move over to well. Move the V jump. I gotta say, great chapter and set up for something more. So looks like we're gonna explore the stuff. Go explore that that diamond on Tanai's head. Probably also a source of her youth. Yeah, we're we're gonna see her in the manga because she's appeared in the anime for a few episodes. But finally gonna see in the manga, which that's gonna be nice. And of course, well, Kawanki is gonna do so his own thing. But finally, we're gonna have the series just stop focusing on Kawanki for a little while. We're gonna go back and focus on Baruto, and hopefully v, v Jump basically does that. Now I'm not really sure exactly why they're moving it to V Jump. As a matter of fact, there's not not been a fish reason why. Well, for one thing, they're going to well stop publishing it month well. The series go monthly anyway, so why would monthly magazine? Because you see, this chapter was coming on weekly Shonen Jump. So as for why they decided to do this for, I have no idea. It's particularly very odd to say the least. But fantastic chapter, I love it. Get this chapter roughly a 9.5 out of 10. Really good. Looking forward to next chapter that comes out next month. Yep, and hopefully, well. Now, as the case what happened with last month, I still don't know what was the reason why it skipped last month. Yeah, it's bizarre. It's not the first time it did this. It's been a while since it is, but yeah. It's only like the third time in the series I've actually done it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, that's definitely in this particular view. I have, well, I was hoping to do Super, but at this rate, I'll probably have to wait until tomorrow to do it. Unless, of course, the thing gets uploaded somehow, which I keep checking, but nope, no uploading yet. So yeah, so... Until you see the next few, bye.